So Formic has a fantastic integration with a library called Yup to do uh, validation for your form on the client side, uh, just so you can give users those errors and feedback before you ha they have to wait for the server. And to use this, all we have to do is say yarn add yup or npm install yup. And then with that done, what we'll want to do here is say import star as yup from yup. And we're doing import star as yup just because of the way things are exported. We want access to every validation function that's available to yup. So what we can do is actually, uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out from our form just to keep it a little bit more clean, but we can go ahead and say validation or const validation schema, and we'll actually go ahead and define it. So looking at our initial values, that's also going to represent kind of our final values that we would be submitting to our uh, API endpoint or wherever you're sending it. So what we wanna say, this is an object, so we'll say yup.object. And then we can go ahead and specify the actual shape of the object that we're expecting. And we know our object that we want to submit has a name attribute on it. And just like we've done here where we say we've got an object with a shape of this, we can go ahead and say yup.string, saying that this should be a string field so that we're not passing a number or anything like that in. So the way we would actually use this uh, we've got our validation schema, and then all we have to do down here on our formic prop, just like we did initial values or on submit, we can go ahead and say validation schema is equal to our validation schema. So now if I use this and actually try to submit, let's go ahead and put numbers in here. These might actually be saved as a string, we'll see. So we see that works. Well, let's go ahead and kind of tack on to our validation schema to add a few more fields, so or a few more specifications. So we know it should be a string. Let's also say that this should be required. All right, so now if I press submit, nothing's showing up here because the error message, or rather, so we're not seeing that activity indicator showing up because an error is occurring. And we're not actually showing that error yet, so we should actually update our uh, app to go ahead and do that. And to do this, we'll go ahead and first import text from React Native. And we can then go ahead and just below our text input, we can say text. Um, let's go ahead and add a style to it. And we'll say color is going to be red. And we can go ahead and access this error message by saying formic props, just like we have before. And then all of our errors are going to be on the dot errors uh, object. And what we can do then is go ahead and specify whatever key that we're looking at. So in this case, we've got name, which is the error that we want. So if I save this now, I'll go ahead and press submit. You can see name is a required field and that error message is showing up for us. You can go ahead and customize this in a variety of ways. Yup is very, very flexible. So let's say uh, we want to specify a specific name. We can say you need a name and then that's going to allow us when this error occurs, this is going to happen. Or if you don't want to specify a specific required message, you can go ahead and specify just the label. That way, uh, when this message is being displayed, say instead of it being lowercase using the key name, it'll go ahead and use whatever name we want it to. So we've got that capitalized start of a sentence uh, for our error message. And you can just go ahead and tack on different things. You can set a minimum, you can set you know, the message that should show up here, you can set a max length of anything. So there's a variety of ways you just kind of build up your validation schema when using Yup. And it's just a really, really nice experience. They've got a variety of different validation types that we'll use uh, in future videos as we actually build more realistic forms. But when it comes to building forms with Formic and Yup, that's kind of the basics of how you would use Yup and how you'd use Formic and then we can go ahead and start building up some actual examples.